Hello, you are welcome. How to solve 9 power m plus 9 power m equals 54? We are going to solve for the value of m that will satisfy this equation. Now, here we have 9 power m here, we have 9 power m here. We can factor out 9 power m. We have, if we divide 9 power m by 9 power m, we have 1 plus, we do the same thing here. We have 1 and this equals 54. So we now have 9 power m times 1 plus 1 is 2, and this equals 54. So we proceed. Because we have 2 here, we can divide both part of this equation by 2. 2 will cancel 2. We have 9 power m equals 54 divided by 2 is 27. Now, at this point, we can solve this exponential equation for m using two methods. So I'm going to start with method one. I will show you two different methods that we are going to use to solve this. So recall we have nine power m equals 27. Now in this first method, we will try and ensure that the both part of this equation have the same base. That means we will express nine power m as three power two or power m. And this equals, here we can have 27 as three raised to the power of 3. Now, if you have a power n or power m, this equals a power n times m. So we multiply this exponent, we have 3 to the power of 2m, and this equals 3 to the power of 3. Now, since the basis are now the same, we compare the exponent, we have 2m equals 3. So in order to solve for m, we divide by 2 on both part of this equation. And we divide this by 2. So 2 here will cancel 2 here. We have m equals 3 over 2 or 1.5. That is 1.5. Now, the second method is let me introduce to method 2. We have method 2. Let's recall the problem. We have 9 power m equals 27. 9 power m equals 27. So in this second method, we can introduce log. We take log of 9 power m equals log of 27. Now, if you have log of a power b, this equals b times log of a. That means this m will come behind here. We are going to have m times log of 9 equals, we can express log of 27 as the product of log of 9 times 3. 9 times 3 is 27. So we now have m times log of 9 equals, now there's also another property of log that we can use here. If you have log of a times b, this equals log of a plus log of b. Have you seen that? So that means we are going to have log of 9 plus log of 3. So now, in order to solve for m, we divide by log of 9. We divide all these by log of 9. Log of 9 eliminates log of 9. We have m equals, we can split this as log of 9 divided by log of 9 plus log of 3 divided by log of 9. So let's proceed. We have m equals this, cancel this, we have 1 plus log of 3 divided by, this is log of 9, we can write this as log of 3 to the power of 2, because 3 to the power of 2 is 9. So we proceed. Now, before we do that, remember if you have log of a power b, this equals b times log of a. So we have m equals 1 plus log of 3 divided by, that means these two will come behind the log. We have 2 times log of 3. So log of 3 can eliminate log of 3. And we are going to have m equals 1 plus 1 divided by 2. 
So 1 plus 1 divided by 2, this over 1. Just multiply everything out. You are going to have 2 times 1, that is 2 plus 1 divided by 2. And this equals 3 divided by 2, or 1 and a half. So this and what we had before are the same. Have you seen that? Now the next thing we are going to do is we can check if you want to check check if the answer is correct. Remember we had 9 power m plus 9 power m equals 54. So if we insert 3 over 2 for m, then we should have 54. 9 power 3 over 2 plus 9 power 3 over 2 equals 54. Is that so? I believe, remember 9 is a perfect square. We have 3 power 2, that is 9. All raised to the power of 3 over 2 plus 3 power 2. All raised to the power of 3 over 2. This should give us 54. So if you multiply these two exponents, this will cancel this. This will cancel this. So we have 3 power 3. That is 27 plus 27. And this equals 54. Meaning that the answer that we got is actually very correct. So that is it for this video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe. Share this video to your friends. Thank you. And goodbye.